1788, the Constitution was ratified, which gave fundamental rights to Americans. But the question is, what does it mean to be an American? I believe it means to have diversity within groups and um, teaching each other about different backgrounds. I think for me being an American is being free, whether it's for the press, for religion, like you have a lot of rights that are said in the Constitution that a lot of other countries don't have. It means we can live someplace free, we can live someplace that and we can live in the best country in all of the world. To me, being American is being free and being oneself without everyone being the same or having to be a specific way. Being an American means something different to everyone. However, by the Constitution, you are guaranteed basic rights. One of them being the Second Amendment, which is the right to bear arms. The NRA has always maintained that the Second Amendment applies to individuals, that it is an individual right to keep and bear arms. And in 2008, the United States Supreme Court affirmed that, and they made it clear that the Second Amendment does apply to individuals. We spoke to Katherine Morrison from the NRA, and she believes that we would not be a nation without guns due to the fact that America gained its independence by using firearms. I don't think that we would be a nation if we did not have arms. So we gained our freedom through an armed revolution. We were able to defeat the British because our colonists had firearms and they used them against the British soldiers. One common point made was the creation of the Second Amendment, which was a different time period from now. We have grown and advanced as a nation over the past 227 years since the amendment was passed. And many people feel as though the change in time calls for a reform in the law and constitution. I think that when the Second Amendment was passed, that the um, authors of the Constitution did not envision people would have assault rifles and hundreds of firearms in their basement. You know, I think it was the right to protect oneself. Today, the nation cries out to the conscience of the Congress. Criminal violence from the muzzle of a gun has once again brought heartbreak to America. I mean, I think it's, it just needs to be a, a lot of, of reform. The Second Amendment intention, the time is different than 2018. There's not wild animals running around. With gun sales, I think that those, that those efforts there with loopholes uh, are, are covered in gun laws and what you have to be able to put forward in selling a gun, whether you have that background. In almost all of these cases where people have gone on mass shootings, if you, uh, you know, read the news reports, Mental health is an issue. Although some believe taking away guns will eliminate mass shootings, Lori believes that the government should evaluate other options. On the gun side, greater background checks. Too often, sales without background checks, including unlicensed sales and online sales, have allowed guns to end up in the hands of violent criminals. By closing these loopholes and expanding background checks, we will make our community safer. There are things we can do that would not prohibit one's lawful right to own a gun who's you know, deemed to be mentally fit, without a criminal background. I'm all for that. Time and again, Congress pauses for the standard moment of silence and yet, so far, has failed to take real action. Newtown, Parkland, Las Vegas, Mother Emanuel AME, Tree of Life Synagogue, the Capitol Gazette. These names are but a few of the grotesquely long list of mass shoot shootings and lives cut violently short. According to CNN News, last year in 2018, on average, there was one school shooting per week. But all the government has to offer is thoughts and prayers. I'm sick and tired of thoughts and prayers. If thoughts and prayers had any effect whatsoever, there would be a lot of people still alive today. All these thoughts and prayers would have miraculously pulled bullets out of victims and healed wounds, would have stopped these massacres before they started. You know, we keep having another school shooting like Parkland, and then we get thoughts and prayers until the next school shooting and the next school shooting. And, and um, it's only a matter of time and before it happens in someone's backyard, you know, in their own community. 
Due to the increase of school shootings, the school district of Richmond 2 has taken precautions to keep students safe. With the rise of, of, of things going on, we, we found it to be in the district's best interest to implement our clear bag policy at our uh, sporting events um, uh, as a way to um, really um, expedite um, safety and security. The schools themselves have ways that they can harden the schools and prevent people from coming in with firearms. And again, in Parkland and in so many other cases like this, there were failures by the authorities and and that that's the real tragedy. This should never be a debate about taking people's guns away, okay, because those rights are guaranteed by the Constitution. It's what can we do to prevent mass shootings. America has evolved as a nation, and the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, has affected our country. Under the Constitution, every citizen has the right to bear arms, which means that every citizen should be able to carry responsibly in order to keep our nation safe and to eliminate the chance of more mass shootings.